When you look at the audio spectrum, we usually look at it as hertz. These are the frequencies that different animals can hear. We go from zero to you know, 100,000 and more. The human hear auditory field, where the things that we can hear, are usually between 20 to 20,000 hertz. Okay? Now, this is less than what dogs can do, or elephants, or other animals, but this is simply what humans can do which means that in this auditory range is what you would usually get when you try to get audio, compress it, and send it over the wire to someone else. Why? Because at the end of the day, we need humans to hear that, and not other animals. And within that range of 20 to 20,000, we call it narrow, wide, super, and full band of hearing ranges. And yes, there are people can, that can hear a bit more in these ranges, and those that can hear a, a lot less. If we look at the 300 to 3400, 3, that would be narrow band. Usually it would be called until 4000 uh, hertz. Narrow band is what you get on a PSTN phone call, on a voice call from an old phone. Then there's wide band. Wide band, wide band is anywhere between 50 to 7000 or 8000 hertz. This is what you get with a high definition call. Usually HD call would be wideband. A lot of the audio codecs or speech codecs look at wideband as the range of speech that they want to, uh, to focus on. Above these numbers, we go into the music area. These would be super wideband and full band. And again, up until 7000, 8000, that's speech and above that, that's actual music and audio. Different codecs support different bands. And if we look at what we have in WebRTC, these are Opus and G711. G711 is our narrowband solution for WebRTC. This is where we get the um, low frequency speech, which doesn't sound that well, but it's what we're all regular for and used for from the old phone and telephony system. Opus, on the other hand, can do wideband, HD voice. It can also do full band and super band and super wideband, and it can do narrow band. But in most cases, in its, in its default configuration, what you'll get is HD voice, which is wideband. Check out more in the webrtcglossary.com and look at my training courses at webrtccourse.com. Thank you.